Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out... One Way Street by Hazilius. This map has a somewhat familiar name. I feel like I might have played or seen a similarly titled map. Or maybe I've heard about this. Difficulty, very hard. Oh dear. That's not good for me, because I'm kind of tired right now. My entry for the 25th P2LC bi-weekly competition, Vantage Point. This map was inspired by Camerson 1313's chamber, Quantified Observation, Area 1, but it's been significantly changed due to the original idea not working out properly. Hmm. Well, this does not bode well for me. Let's go ahead and... BAM! Let's get started with the map. Alright. This is our exit condition to cubes. Any cubes. Not edgeless cubes. Specifically... Cube-shaped cubes. Six-sided cubes. Three-dimensional, six-sided cubes. There is one such example. It requires moon, and there's another such example. It requires dot. Looks like that one already dropped. I don't really have a choice here, except to just drop down here. Down we go. Hmm. Can't really do much in here yet, right? Yeah, alright. I guess this is will turn- will turn off later. Fizzler. Or maybe it won't. Doesn't look like it has any signage on it. And is this- okay, this is- this is a full reset, basically. Except that it doesn't respawn the other cubes, so maybe we will be using it, who knows. Whenever you see a button behind a fizzler like this, that's what I like to call a full reset. Because it clears your portals and respawns the cube. Oh, there's a light bridge there! I was about to say, why would you have a way to walk to your death? Right. So there's that. Oh, I didn't even place that in the center. Oh my gosh, I can't center that. There we go. I know it's got aim assist and everything, but I still couldn't center it. There's that. Let's see where this takes us. There's a companion cube there. Huh. So now we're over here, right? Oh, I like how there's a light strip there, right where the light bridge ends. And... A lot of walking around so far. Oh, this is weird. Oh... So this is blocking us from... What? Why would you... Why not just put it on the funnel itself? I can't think of a reason to do this other than because you wanted to. We have a faith plate. Oh goodness, that's not exactly where I expected to go. If I use that one, it'll probably clear my portals. What do we have down here? Oh, interesting. At least I can use this to get back. Kind of, not really. How do I get back from here? Like, if I were to clear my portals, what recourse would I have? Hmm... I suppose let's find out! Okay. So my portals are cleared. Now what? What's up here, by the way? I am curious to know the answer to that. There we go. Oh! Oh! That explains everything! I didn't realize that was portable. So we can use it either as a momentum gaining area or as a funnel, but not both at the same time. Interesting. I actually like that. Right, so, let's do this, shall we? Aha! Here we are. This is the other cube. And it does not have a full reset button. Just a regular old reset button. Right, so now we need to get both cubes up here. First of all, does this other fizzler turn off ever? Didn't look like it has any signage. Yeah, I think this is a permanent fizzler. 
So what we would do is we'd put the funnel down there, and then we would use that faith plate to launch ourselves into the funnel. That makes sense. What was the signage on the... the panel block in the funnel again? X. Gotcha. Now we're using to find X. Cause that square... where would X be? Oh, there's X. Here's a question, do I want to put this cube... I think I do, cause we can easily respawn it for free. So I'll put this cube in here, instead. Yes, that'll work out nicely. Oh, but... Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I see. Wait, what? I couldn't see that from here, I didn't even realize that was even a thing. Why is that a thing I want to do? Alarming. Actually, why is that a thing I want to do? I suppose there is a problem with this plan, which is, how do I now get over there? I can't see that from over there, can I? I wonder. No, there's glass and stuff in the way. Okay then. Oh, what? It... <laughs> I thought I was gonna die there, but nope, I survived. I even hit no clip for a moment there. Hmm. And this is suspended over goo, so I can't, like, intercept it with a cube. Because I want to be able to have this active without using portals, right? There's not a way to swap the cubes yet. Not without the funnel. I could infinifling infiniloop myself here, but uh, it wouldn't really do me much good. Why is this like this? I can do this without portals, so maybe that's a thing that I can do. Like, I can do this... ...but... I would want to get over there first... ...right? There's nothing else at this height level. Just this platform, and that platform, and in there. Nothing over there at this height level. And this light bridge can't actually be used with a portal. 
basically just regular old bridge at this point. And if I... put a portal up here, real quick... ...and then walk out here... ...and, like... ...point it somewhere, it's not really gonna help at all. Yeah, that... ...makes a funnel up here, but it doesn't help. <laughs> not much to do about this. I can't even put the funnel there unless I go up here with it first. So it's a chicken and the egg problem. How did I not see this before? Interesting. Why this is slightly lower than you would expect? Like, why wouldn't this be on just be on ground level? I don't know. Maybe I can do something now that I've got this set up. I suppose. Right, I need to shoot up here first. Ah, uh, there we go, close enough. And then... now I do this. There we go, finally. But I can't shoot a portal anywhere from up here, so... what's the point? All I can do... ...is fizzle that cube, and if I put the cube on- on- over there instead... ...there's not much I can do, really. I'll just have two cubes instead of one. Which... actually might be what I want to do. Is there a way to get... ...that cube up here... ...though not necessarily with- with that one? Obviously we need both for the end condition, but... We might be able to get by... ...with just... ...the other one, for now. How would I do that, though? Cause there's- there's- there's Fizzler in the way here. This, this causes problems. Like, we need the funnel to do anything! I can't get the funnel, though. There's no portal services that I can see from this vantage point here. Hmm. I wonder... 
Could that even be intended, though? That feels like it's not something that would be intended. I'm not sure. Cause that glass seems to be there specifically to prevent me from walking there. And then we have this connection, which... I don't know, it doesn't feel right. Feels like this might be breaking the map. Huh. Oh, goodness. Let's try- let's start going back up there again. There's a few other things we can try. What's the light bridge for? That's still something that confuses me. Is it just some sort of weird anti-trapping thing that you're not supposed to be able to see from anywhere? But but why would there be a light bridge there though? Like it could just work as it is right now without the light bridge. It would be the same. Yeah, we definitely can't can't make that jump. Oh yes, you can, actually. But again, it's such a tight fit that it feels unintended. So it turns out you can make the jump. But I mean, if it wasn't intended... There's a whole variety of ways... ...that you could work around that. And it wouldn't look as good, but you could put another fizzler... Well, that wouldn't work either. Okay, so never mind. Uh... How would- like, you could ex- oh, cause the glass is here... It'd be a bit uglier, but you could extend this another block to prevent the jumping thing. But as for walking along the edges... There isn't really a good way to prevent that without... ...pushing them into the wall a bit. Which actually wouldn't be too much of a problem. You could just let it go all the way across. And then you could move this area... ...back, or forward, whatever you want. It could work. There, there's ways to fix it. Although, not any clean, simple ways. Anyway, let's, let's, so let's go do this again, because I feel like I'm still breaking the map. That gives me so much extra height, I feel like that's meaningful, but maybe it's just a convenience. The other thing is we can just go like this, and get that connection anyway, so... Really not too different, in my opinion. The issue is we can't cross this gap at all. It's literally not a thing we can do. And you can jump into this... this portal all you want and try bunny and hopping even across. It's definitely not intended. Yeah, you can like- you can make it this far, but that's about it. I'm sure a, a better bunny hopper than I could probably do something with it. What else could we do with this connection, though? I can't get over there... ...while maintaining my portals like this. It's not a thing that can be done.
And I don't think it's possible, but I do want to see what happens if I do... this. I don't think it's possible, though, to actually set up my portals like this. Yeah, that- that doesn't even help anyway. Alright, back to the drawing board. Huh. So, I could point that cube directly at that, and then I can freely move that one around. That would just let me get both cubes in there, which isn't really that helpful. Did I want to try doing that earlier? Maybe that's something I need to do. Let's- let's just try it. There. Take that. So now... Doesn't matter where this cube is for now, because we have to do... multiple... steps... of this. And I'll just leave it in the funnel, why not? What could possibly go wrong? So we go up here... do this whole shebang. Plonk a portal there. And then we walk all the way around here, like this. And then this is where we actually want to take this. Yep, I can still collide with it, that's good. You never know when you might need to collide with it. So now I can swap them out. Not sure I would want to, though. Something I can do. Yep, now that guy's back up there. All the way around. Do this again. Grab the cube again, and then what? Then what, indeed. Because what we really want is to have that cube up here with us. We can put a cube there, and point it... there, but that's the opposite of what we want to do. We, what we really want is to have it, by default, pointing at that. Oh, we can... I think we can actually do that now. So I didn't even need to respawn this at all. Okay. Let's try it. Come on, give me the cube, thank you. So this is the one that will be respawning from up there. First, we need to use it... Oh crap. Carefully. Oh crap. First we need to point it there. Hmm. That's kind of precarious, but it'll work. Good old upside-down portals. Yeah, so now... We can go all the way around. This is a bit of an issue, though. 
Or not. Maybe not. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Alright, so now we have this set up. I'm gonna save here for sure. Excellent. Now... Now... This doesn't actually seem that helpful, to be honest. I'm a little confused about what my next move should be. I can go back, but to no avail, really. Uh, I mean, at least, at least we can test this out. No, let's not do that, actually. Let's do it like this. There's nothing back here, though. Like, if I push that cube away, it's just gonna make the funnel stop. I don't want that. Alright, I gotta put, gotta put this here first. Here we go. Yeah, how does that help me, though? I'm not convinced that anything good has come from that, actually. I mean, it's... different from what we've been able to do before, I guess? But that's about it. Yeah, that doesn't really seem too helpful. Oh, I see what I have to do! You're coming with me, sir! This allows us to cross this gap. Because of course it does, why wouldn't it? And then... Then what? I had it in my head. And now I forgot. This isn't enough to get up here, right? How many blocks is this? One, two... Sorry, one, two, three, four, five. And this is one, two, three, four. Yeah. This isn't enough. Hmm. Although, with that extra boost, it might... be? Maybe? Then how would I get back in here? <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I have a quick save. Let's at least experiment somewhat with this. Right? Oh, that's weird the way the cube moves. It's because of the, the portal below it. The portal funneling kicks in, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know why the cube moves weird on light bridges sometimes. But, uh... Yeah, we can see below us the other panel. But if, I don't think we want to, like, use it for velocity right now. Aim at that from here? That shouldn't work, but it might actually. Could. I'm gonna- I'm gonna test it real quick, just to know. Ah, it doesn't work. Okay, well. Never mind then. Like, I mean, unless it's really sensitive, I don't think that's right. That's still... a possibility. We wouldn't want to use portals to do that, though. This is the one that respawns, right? Um, let me just double check. Yeah, at least now we know for sure. If I do this, I can't go back. Yeah, I can't go back this way because... of that. Oh, Do I have enough time for that? That is not much time at all. Oh, but I don't need that much time, actually. Oh. Ooh, yes. I think I understand now. Sort of. Okay, we have a quick save for a reason. But this is very clever. I like this a lot. Oh my gosh. I feel really dumb right now, I just looked over at my recording and I realized I'm recording my entire... gosh dang screen. <laughs> oh man, that annoys me a lot, hang on. That's gonna be some painful editing for me. 
Yeah, that's... that's gonna be some real painful editing. But anyway... Let's start the music again. There we go. And then we walk all the way over here instead. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. So now we've got that set up, right? And then we can enable this again. Yes! Yes! This is what we need to do! So then... From here, I think it's pretty simple. That's what the light bridge is for. So we figured that out. Yeah, I think we're done now. Don't even need to worry about the portals anymore. We can just set this up. Ta-da! We're up here now. And then, we just gotta respawn this guy, I believe. Yep! Excellent. And then we just take them both over there, to the exit. Cause we are done! Ta-da! We did it! And with the majority of the episode at a slightly lower resolution than normal. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. Right. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!